we're going to talk through what agroforestry is and how it is a relationship with the whole environment. We're looking at eco-agri, ecological agriculture in a farm area and its connections. So let's go to the bigger picture of a watershed. We are here living in the Upper Pulangi watershed, a big watershed. The Upper Pulangi watershed obviously follows through the ridge of all the mountain tops here. This is the area that is highly forested and critically threatened at the moment with expansive high fertilizer corn growing for animal feeds. And it's the source of all of the water for the irrigation for the rice farms down here. Then we move into sugar lands and it goes out to the south. But the mountain areas are most critical. This is a watershed as it flows out to the ocean. A small unit of that watershed is a catchment. This is where a number of streams that come together drain a, an area of land. And its stability is very much dependent upon how that land is used. So the upper part of this catchment area is forest. And there's a whole area here of about 20 hectares that is being regenerated by uh, assisted natural regeneration to sustain the water sources of the springs. Uh, the spring box is over here for the Kiasu. And here is the farm area that we're going to talk about. Uh, that farm area has uh, stream rehabilitation efforts at the side because we draw our water from this landscape and there's bamboo production here, which is part of the agroforestry efforts, uh, giving us uh, a contribution to the overall production. So if we go back here, we have the farmland that's situated in the Kiasu catchment that is situated in the upper Pulangi. There's two hectares here, and the basic effort of Eco Agri is good food. That's the number one objective. We want quality food that we feel is good to eat. So what does that require? It requires organic pest control, organic fertilizer development. As far as possible, we generate our own seeds. So we don't get into a corporate control of what we consider is uh, naturally everybody's right. We have livestock in the process. The mixture, as you will see, of different crops, the combination of crops is crucial and their rotation on this land. We're looking for a quality and a quantity in a given time, responding to given needs with given input, area, and people. Now, if this is managed well, then it will contribute to broader relationships of what we call ecological services. We're not putting in any pollutants. We're not putting anything in disproportionately into the environment. It's natural. So we're not contaminating water supplies or the atmosphere. We're drawing water in a sustainable way we're not using any dams. We're using water both for the agriculture and for a mini hydro power station. Many things can be done on the landscape if we choose to do it in an integral manner. And if we're very careful with the use of infrastructure and technology, infrastructure and technology does not have to take over the landscape. It can work when well matched integrally with the landscape. And this is what really ecological agriculture is about and the larger picture of agroforestry. We are connected with the forest, the water systems and the natural ecosystems that are there.